Hey guys, welcome back to Montreal Canadiens TV. My name is Jared Horner and today is another installment of my 30 Teams in 30 Days series. And today we're going to be talking about the Philadelphia Flyers. Now last year, uh, stat-wise, goals, Carter with 36, Giroux with 51 assists, and for overall points, Giroux again with 76. And their plus-minus leader being their defenseman, Matt Carl, at a plus 30. Uh, now three of the Flyers' top, fi top five point producers have now been uh, either signed elsewhere or shipped out of town. Uh, as Carter, Richards, and Leno now don uh, new jerseys elsewhere, uh, they received v Jacob Voracek, who had 46 points last year with the Columbus Blue Jackets, and Wayne Simmons, who put up 30 points with LA last year, and Braden Shen, who's making 3.1 million, who's only has, who's only ever played in nine NHL games and has two assists. So, as good as he's going going to be, I don't know. That contract seems a little steep to me. Uh, anyways, the response through free agency was also signing uh, Maxim Talbot to a five-year deal at 1.75 per. Uh, so now he's on the other side of the uh, rivalry there. Um, and that is he's more of a... I don't know if I would have picked him up myself. He's just not a uh, player that I really like. But, you know, he needs someone to fill a hole somewhere. Uh, and they also, uh, the Flyers also you know, won the Yager sweepstakes, uh, getting him at 3.3 for one year. Um, and also, as, as most players try to make their NHL returns, uh, Yager is actually a guy who never really stopped playing. And in uh, the KHL, in 155 games, he put up 145 points. So uh, it's not like this guy's really ever slowed down. So I'm not really uh, going to be surprised if he does have a good year this year. Uh, just based on his previous performance in the KHL, I realize it's obviously a different league, different style of play and everything. But... He never really has to change the way he plays because all he does is put points on the board consistently. So we'll see what happens. Um, and call me crazy, but I'm thinking to put Philly's def Philly's defense right up there with the Rangers as one of the top uh, defensive cores in the league, um, and mainly because you have uh, Matthew Carl and uh, Andre Mazaros both at a plus thirty, uh, along with Coburn and Timonen, and then you got to factor in Chris Pronger as well. Even though last year he did have an injury plagued year. Only played, well, like 51 games, I think. Um, but also, he's a career plus 182 for a reason. And during his time in Philly so far, the two years he's been there, he's a plus 29. So I don't really see uh, defense being a problem for this team next year. Um, as far as in net, you got Ilya Brzgalov, who's uh, only really broke out uh, recently in the last two seasons, and which was impressive as, as he was in the last two years with 42 wins and 36 wins. Uh, consecutively for Phoenix. Um, his contract is, uh, I think we've all, any Philly fans probably talked about this with uh, other, other fans, that that contract is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the, ter the, you know, the term for nine years, how much money he's making, well, I mean, maybe the amount of money isn't so bad, but just the term for that, for nine years, is absolutely over, uh, outrageous, especially being 30 years old. Um, not that that's old or anything, but uh, he hasn't won a playoff series since 2003. So, I don't know, I, I would take that in consideration as well. Uh, I'm not just saying he's not an upgrade at that position because definitely out of the revolving doors that they've had the last so uh, so many years, obviously he's bringing some stability back there. Um, uh, and especially to combine with uh, Philadelphia's D, I think that's really going to work into his favor. Now that they're, uh, just because... A little dust there. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I just think, uh, especially with the offense they do have and their... Uh, stay-at-home defense, who can also put points on the board as well, which is uh, not many teams can ha uh, can say that, but I think he's going to have a really good year this year. Um, not that I like him or anything, just because of what he said about Winnipeg, but, you know, moving on. Um, now, first of their division last year, they're 17-4-3, uh, which is obviously uh, probably one of the better records any team had against their division in the entire league. Uh, but looking at the goal differential, it wasn't so one-sided, and they were 4-1-1 versus Pittsburgh, only outscoring them 16-15. to um, oops, girlfriend text. <laughs> uh, now against um, the Rangers, they're four one one, outscoring them just seventeen to sixteen. Uh, now versus the Rangers, they're three two and one, fifteen and fifteen. So it wasn't uh, so they absolutely dominated there. But however, against the Islanders, they were six and zero with twenty six and twelve goal differential. So uh, that's not really surprising. But now with, uh, like I said, now good to go along with Brzezgalov, those numbers I think would definitely change. I'm not really surprised if that, if, uh, actually I would be surprised if that record versus division changes just because of the Rangers and how, you know, how well they got. Uh, and maybe even the Islanders, who knows, they might even surprise a few people as well. Uh, in net though, they still have problems. Uh, now their power play last year ranked at 19th with 16.61%. Uh, which kind of surprised me due to the offense that this team does possess. The fact that they just, uh, just couldn't get, do it on the power play. That happens though, and it's not a big deal, but 
I definitely see that. Um, not so much improving this year, only because of the departure of Richards and Carter, and you can throw Leno in there as well. Uh, they're pay uh, probably kill ranked at 15th, 82.75%, which I think will improve this year, um, only because they have Brzezgalov in net now, and uh, someone's gonna, someone who can actually stop the puck. So hopefully, and to go along with their defense as well, you know, I've, I've said that before, but it's gonna, I have to say it again. Um, now, finishing second in the East last year with 106 points, uh, no easy task, obviously. Um, and as solid as that was, um, even with Brzezgalov, I'm not sure they'll achieve that next season, um, just because of um, the departure of Richards and Carter was the backbone for this team, I, th I think. So with them gone, it's gonna, it might, might take a little while to see, just like the Rangers, how well uh, Yager's going to factor in uh, chemistry-wise, um, as long as the, uh, to go along with the other new additions they have as well. Uh, no doubt this team will be a force in the East next year, um, but now they're really going to have to compete with the Rangers for division, and maybe even Pittsburgh, depending on how long, how much longer Crosby's going to be out, most likely be another significant amount of time, uh, and that might set them back as well, so who knows. Um, the lowest I see this team finishing last year, tops would be fourth. Uh, that's just if they don't win division, uh, just because they have the Rangers now. And we'll see how far how Pittsburgh can do out the gate without Crosby. Even though they have Malcolm back, it might still be a problem. Uh, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video. Um, leave your comments as the stuff I what the stuff I talked about in this video, as well as some stuff I may have forgotten as well. Because chances are that does happen from time to time. Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in and tune in tomorrow for my next installment. Um, I'll see you then.